So the new 2.2 kilometre simulations will allow us for the first time to look at changes at small spatial scales and for hourly rainfall rates. So for example, for summer heavy downpours. This information is needed for people interested in looking at future changes in flood risk. It's also important for urban planning and for the design of buildings and infrastructure to ensure that they are resilient to future climate change. It's also important to add that we do expect hourly rainfall rates to increase more than daily extremes in the future. So this suggests that current guidance for engineering design, which is based on coarser resolution climate models, might underestimate the sort of changes we will get in these short-lived intense events.